Hey guys, welcome to another short video showing you some of the features of UPDF. In this video, I'm going to show you how to annotate a PDF file on Windows. I'm going to show you the different annotation tools available and how to use them. Okay guys, we're going to start off by opening our sample PDF here by double clicking. And then we're going to head to the left toolbar where it says comment and there's a highlighter kind of or pencil icon. And then here it shows us, once you double click, it shows you your different annotation tools available to you. So if we click on the highlight, you could pick the color that you want. There's even a color wheel where you could pick any specific color that you want, or you could even use a hex code if you want a very specific color. For the sake of argument, we're gonna just pick any color here. In this case, I'm gonna pick green, and you could highlight any sections of text that you wish, and then bam, you got your color, and you could change this at any point in time if you want, and you could even delete it. If you click on the strike through, here again, you could choose whichever color that you want. Let's say we're gonna pick red, and you could strike through any sections of text that you want, that you want them to be striked through. Underline, same concept. You click orange, for example, and then maybe I want to underline the word accuracy, and then here we are. Text comment, this is where if you want, you, again, you could be very specific, you could edit the font. Maybe I want a, I don't know, let's say a OCR extended. We can make it more bold. We could change the font to something a bit more big, let's say 16, and maybe I want it in yellow. And then here, wherever I click, I could start typing and I could say, here is a test for the text. And then you could obviously resize that as you wish. Now we're gonna test the text box feature. If you click on this one and activate it, you click anywhere you want to insert a text box. Let's say I wanna insert it here. And then from here on, I could write the text that I want. Hello test. And here you could change it if you want it bold, change the font. In this case, I want it black, just simple text. But if you want to change the style, you can make the border color, maybe red you want it, and maybe the inside you want it to be yellow, or whatever color you want, maybe the border green and the inside red, that's your choice. And then whenever you wish, you could all obviously resize the text box to however big you want it to be. And that's pretty much simple as it is. Sticky note, you click on it, you could choose the color of your sticky note, and again, you could change it later if you want. And then wherever you want, you could add a sticky note to maybe something, bottom, means, beneath, and it says the date and time and everything. And again, you could change the color and you could delete it from here if you wish. And that's pretty much it. You've got a sticky note here that you could open whenever you want. And last but not least is the shape. If you click on the arrow near the shape, you have four different shapes. You have square or rectangle, you've got a circle, you've got a straight line and an arrow. So maybe I want to do an arrow shape and I could pick the particular color. And opacity means how transparent it is. I want it to be full, not, not low in opacity. And then thickness, you could change the thickness, maybe you want a bit thick. And then bam, you draw the arrow, maybe pointing towards this individual. And again, you could do the play around with all the other different shapes. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave your thumbs up and click on the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this.